All right, last year the Iowa High School Athletic Association and Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union, along with the state's music and speech associations, jointly introduced Family Week, a week-long non-contact period that prohibits schools from hosting any practices or games. It was designed in part to give everyone a break, and I love this rule. Everyone is entitled to time off, and athletes that play four sports year-round could probably really use it. Just one problem. The non-contact period falls in the week normally occupied by state baseball. In year one, schools that were in the tournament were exempt from family week, but this year, not the case. The association was forced to move the baseball tournament up a week. The union left their softball tournament alone. They're now the same week. Now, I know what you're thinking. Entitled media guy is about to tell you why this is only bad for him. Yes, selfishly, this is not good for media statewide. Most of us have three sites to get to, Fort Dodge, Carroll, and Iowa City. We can't and we won't be everywhere. Try fitting highlights of 10 or 11 games into our allotted five minutes for sports. It's simple math. Fewer highlights for everybody, worse coverage, the kids lose out. But from that broader scope, both baseball and softball happening at the same time decreases overall attention on both tournaments. Some fans may only care about one tournament or the other, but what about those that have a stake in both? Indianola made state baseball and softball. So did Waukee and Northwest, Van Meter and Winterset too. Keith McGee writes to us that he has a baseball player and a softball player the same week. That's rough. The point here is not to dig into who's to blame. Don't go standing outside the offices in Boone or West Des Moines with your torches and your pitchforks. The point here is to shine a light on why this scenario is problematic. We all want the players to have the biggest spotlight possible. This scenario could potentially stunt ticket sales for the associations, viewership for their television partners, and ultimately interest in both tournaments. Again, I love the non-contact period but I hate the result of it. I think there are solutions out there to split these tournaments back into two weeks. Hopefully all parties can work together to do so in the future.